All right, everyone. Welcome back to another motor lane first ride review where today we're checking out a bike from a brand new manufacturer for the channel CF Moto and their 650 NK SP 650 NK SP yep I think that's all of them so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the 650 NKSP and our first ride review, then please stick around. Now guys, remember if you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like what you see, make sure you smash that thumbs up button as well. Alright, so as I said, uh, a brand new manufacturer to, uh, to Motorlane, CF Moto. Um, and today we're out on their, uh, their Lambs bike, the... Oh, I made a meal of that. The 650 NKSP. Uh, so yeah, so as I mentioned, Lamb's bike, this is a, uh, a 650 parallel twin, punches out 41.5 kilowatts. Um, I don't have torque figures, unfortunately, but being a Lamb's bike, it's obviously uh, below, below 60 newton meters of torque. Um, as I mentioned, this is the SP model. They also do a standard model. Uh, the SP model uh, benefits from a few upgrades. Um, this five inch uh, color TFT. It's also got KYB uh, suspension um, and front forks. Um, but otherwise, um, there's uh, there's no other changes over the standard 650NK. We've got uh, hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear. Um, and tyres are uh, Pirelli Angel ST, so it's got some decent rubber on it. They're a fairly aggressive tread pattern. Um, but, uh, but yeah, otherwise the uh, the tyres are um, are very good. Um, so just a few features of the bike. Uh, so we've got two rider modes. There's uh, Eco and sports. Um, led to believe there's not a there's not a major difference um, between the two. Um, I think Eco just provides a little bit more of a softer throttle response off the line. Uh, maybe a little bit more top end. Um, but other than that, they're fairly uh, fairly minor. Um, as I also mentioned, we've got the five inch color TFT dash. Um, and it also comes standard with a uh, with a slipper clutch, um, which, being a lambs bike, is uh, is always a good thing. Um, I'm always a big fan of slipper clutches on lambs bikes. Uh, but yeah, but today this is just our first ride review. As I said, just doing a um, a quick run around of the uh, of the specifications of the bike, but nothing too in depth. Um, we'll of course have a full uh, a full ride review coming up on the channel. Um, as well as a, uh, a, a, um, an article up on the website, motorlanemc.com. But today's just an opportunity to, uh, nice triple. Today's just an opportunity to um, take the bike out, first impression, see what we think, uh, go through a few, uh, a few specs and, and tell you what we think of the bike overall. So with the, um, most of the specs out of the way, How does she uh, perform and handle? Um, well, being a lamb's bike, it's never going to uh, set the world on fire. But um, look, if you are a, uh, a new um, or inexperienced rider, um, it's got plenty of, plenty of punch from the 650 parallel twin. Um, providing you select the right gear like I didn't uh, just earlier. But yeah, plenty of, plenty of punch. 
Um, the brakes are um, the brakes are okay. The rear's pretty good actually. Front's not bad either. Um, suspension is uh, is not adjustable. Um, other than uh, than preload in the rear. Um, so uh, you'll um, you'll have to deal with how it comes out of the box but you know look I don't think it's um it's too bad actually it's it's not too stiff around town um, but at the same time it's um it's stiff enough that uh, that it handles these sorts of roads fairly well um, you know so again at uh, at the price point You're not going to argue with the uh, with the brakes or the suspension on the 650 NKSP. So yeah, I'm quite um, I'm quite impressed with how. How she handles, actually. The um, look, the uh, the 650 twins a bit a bit agricultural. Um, it's not the peppiest of the uh, of all the twins out there, but um, you know, hey, she gets up and uh, and boogies. She's a bit rough around these um, these bumpy roads. These are terrible roads, but. Um, The, uh, the suspension is a bit bouncy. Um, but look, the, the chassis feels great. Certainly tips in well and, uh, and holds the line well. Um, you're not going to argue about that. But, um, but, you know, again, one of the things that I really like about small capacity bikes and particularly uh, Lamb's bikes in um, uh, you know specifically is that they teach you how to be a better rider you know it's so easy on a big powerful bike to to come into a corner in the wrong gear um, you know hit the corner take the corner and then power out of it um, you know and you're almost none the wiser but on a small capacity bike, you just can't afford afford to do that um, because you get punished when you're in the wrong gear and you try and get out of the get out of the corner. It just doesn't have that low down torque to uh, to pull you out of the corner. So you end up being a hell of a lot slower. So I think there's a lot to be said for uh, small capacity bikes um, and you know Lamb's bikes in particular, like this one. For, uh, for teaching you to be a better rider. You know, and with the addition of that slipper clutch, you know, you're not gonna be punished for uh, banging it down a gear. You know, running running quite hot and, and run the risk of uh, locking up that rear tire and the compression. So it's a good choice by CF Moto to, uh, to throw in the slipper clutch. Yeah, great. Wow. All right, so that's it for us for this first ride review of the CF Moto 650 NKSP. We hope you enjoyed it. As mentioned, we'll have a, uh, a full review up on the channel uh, very soon um, and again it'll also be backed up by an in-depth article on our website motorlanemc.com so stay tuned for that one we hope you enjoyed this first ride review if you did again be sure to smash that like button if there's anything you want to know more about again 
please make sure that you leave a comment. We're, uh, we're usually very responsive. We'll get back to you uh, um, pretty quickly. Um, and again, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, then please make sure that you uh, hit that subscribe button as well to stay across all of our future content. But otherwise, that's all from us. We hope you enjoyed this first ride review. And until next time... <laughs>